So you've got a very small number of bugs or a percentage of bugs that I call the bad bugs that are trying to destroy the crop, destroy the tree, and destroy your, your livelihood. And then you've got the good bugs and they eat the bad ones. So what we do is we have scouts going through the orchard every week and they'll be looking at leaves, they'll be looking at fruit and they'll be tapping to see what falls out of the tree and then counting how many good ones there are and how many bad ones there are and, and what kind of bug that we're dealing with. So all we do is we monitor who's winning the battle in the orchard and if the bad ones are getting out of hand and they're going to cause economic damage then we can go in with an intervention spray product and knock that population back enough that the good ones can get back on top and, and control any damage. It's very intensive, it's very scientific and it works with nature as much as possible because the less I spray the better. Our biggest risks are really at blossom time. Um, if you think of a flower as, as the female part of the plant, the flowers are open and they're susceptible to everything at pollination time. So um, bees are great, they pollinate, but they can also move disease around the orchard. So we try and not harm the bees, but protect the tree and protect the blossoms. So that's, that's our earliest challenge. Then as we go through the summer, we have the potential for uh, we have the potential for spring frost either before or after or during bloom. Um, we use wind machines, wind towers, where we're stirring up the air and trying to mix the warmer air from above with the colder air below to protect the frost uh, from damaging the blossoms. That's the challenge with orchard. It's, it's always evolving. You always have new pests and usually the new pests come from other countries so they have no natural predators here and it makes it a real challenge to try and control them. You might not consider deer to be a pest, but deer are a big pest. In the springtime, when the vegetation is very lush and growing quickly, the deer love it. So we go through and we hang mylar tape, which is silver color and when it twists it reflects the sun or the moonlight if it's a moonlit night and the orchard sparkles and the deer hate that. It just looks really weird to them and they stay right away. What we try and do is we try and use everything that we can to have as minimal an impact on the environment and our workers as possible and cost us the least amount of money to work in conjunction with nature to control whatever pests are trying to destroy the crop. For me it's important to be a steward of the environment because there are very tight margins in the apple industry and we really have to work with as much of what's already there and not introduce more expensive stuff to try and make a living. And besides that, we, we live in the environment that we're working in. Our families grow up here, our pets are here, and so we want to maintain a healthy environment that we live in.